Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I actually wanted to make this video so long ago. Oh my lord, it took forever for this package to come in. As you guys can probably read from the video title above, this was a Black Friday haul. It wasn't even a Boxing Day haul. I received two packages. My order was split up into three packages. Two packages came within like two weeks of my stuff being ordered and the third package took God knows how long forever. We'd already left for the holidays at that point so I had to literally wait for two weeks till I came back home to be able to have the package. I was really hoping that everything would arrive before the holidays so I can get this up for you. Unfortunately, I don't know if all the links are going to be available to everything now anymore. Hopefully it is, fingers crossed. I'm gonna try my best to find everything and to link it down below so you guys can also check it out if you'd also like to pick this up for yourself. But without further ado, let's just jump right into today's haul. I know the lighting is really dark, guys. I'm trying my best to get as much lighting as possible, but it just, Mother Nature's just not here with me. What time? The sun sets by like 4.30. It is currently, what time is it? 4.05, so let's see if I can film all of this within the span of the next 25 minutes before the sun sets, but we've already passed winter solstice, which means the day should, should hypothetically get longer, which means more sunlight, so I can film a little bit more for you guys in the long run. But I'm gonna go right into it and show you everything that I purchased from Aerie during their Black Friday sale. So in total, I spent only $280 Canadian, which is not bad, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So for eight pieces for 280 bucks, I feel like that's decent. That's like a pretty good steal. We're gonna jump right into, I think the sweaters first, cause you guys know I have a sweater problem. So let's just chat about that. If you guys see me holding my phones, because I'm checking my order in my email, just so I can tell you exactly what I got. Cause in the past I've just held up this stuff and I'm like, check below in the description box to find out which one it is. But I'm gonna try my best to say the names of each piece so you guys know exactly what I'm referencing. So the first one is the offline Sherpa oversized quarter zip. And I got this in extra small in the color Olive Days. You guys know I've been loving green, especially the color Olive recently. So I picked up this sweater and it's like a really, really soft micro fleece. The reason I like this sweater was because I think I saw somewhere online, one of the photos when it was like unzipped, the inside also had micro fleece. And a big thing for me is that if a sweater is fluffy and soft in the outside, it also needs to be just as soft and fluffy on the inside because who the hell is touching the outside of your sweater? I mean, like I want to wear it for the softness. So I purchased it because it looked like it was going to be soft on the inside and I was not wrong. I love how soft and fuzzy and cozy this feels on my skin. So highly, highly recommend this sweater for that. This one is full price for $69.95 Canadian and it was on sale for $37 Canadian. So a little bit more than half price, but not bad. Price wise, really, really good sale that I scored then. I think it was like 20% off with an extra 10 to 20% off on top of that or something like that. So I liked it because it has one of these like apply ski style like quarter zip sweaters. It just comes out to about like right underneath your boobies here. And it also has pockets on either side here, which is nice and cozy. The pockets are lined on one side, so it's not just fleece all the way through. And then also the end of the sleeves here, there are cuffs. The bottom of the sweater is kind of cut as like a duck bill. It's curved on the front and the back and it actually gives you quite a bit of coverage down to the bum. Now I had really, really high hopes for this sweater and because it was like so fuzzy and soft and cozy, I really want to keep it. Unfortunately, I think the silhouette is a little bit too boxy for my figure and it just like overwhelms me a little bit. I was hoping for it to be like slightly more fitted, but big enough to look like a board from the boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it when you guys see it on me in the cutaway, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I just didn't love the fit and it was just kind of like hanging kind of weirdly on me. You guys also know I don't really wear bras that often and this is definitely a sweater because of the material that's so thin, you do need to wear something underneath or else there's gonna be like nip slips flying everywhere because the sweater and the material that it's made out of is not forgiving, it just, accentuates like everything. And when I say everything, I literally mean everything. You can see like every nook, line and cranny. So I probably recommend wearing a tank top or something underneath this. Also just because it's winter outside, you do want to layer to make sure that you're not super cold. But I was very, very excited about this sweater with the look and the cut and the material, especially the lining. It was just overall fit after I tried it on, I didn't love so much. So unfortunately, even though this one was a great steal and what a great price guys, like come on, almost 50% off, I will be returning it back to Aerie. So of course I had to get the exact same sweater in the beige color as well. You guys know I love beige everything. So here it is. This is Soft Oat. I believe that's the name of this sweater. Exact same design, cut, silhouette, fit, everything. Also super soft to the inside as well. So if you're somebody who's big on softness, highly recommend it. I don't know why, I think because of this color, it just feels and fits different. Like it's a little less drapey and more 
fitting on me than the green one. I don't know what it is about it, but I instantly gravitated a lot more to the fit of this one. You guys already know I ran through everything in regards to like the texture and the material. So can confirm we'll be keeping this one because I like the fit of this so much more than the green. And I think I'm still going to be on the lookout for sweaters like this because I want something that has like that quarter zip, but in more of like a knit material. Very, very kind of like a presque and a ski cotter chalet type of vibe. This one is more kind of like a comfy lying it round cozy winter vibes. I'm digging it, but I definitely still want a knit version, but I highly, highly recommend this one if you guys are looking for like a soft micro fleece type of sweater. Obviously I had to get another sweater. Like I said, I was looking for a knit version of that little quarter zip and I got this one. It's not a zip. It's more of a button up. So it kind of reminds me of some of Peter's cardigans, the button up right at the top. Um, it is a knit though. And I thought this looked really cute on the model, which is why I bought it. This one is called the Airy Button Mock Neck Sweater. And I got it in the size extra small in the neutral color. Now I don't love the knit on this one. It's a little bit too holy for me. I want like a thicker, chunkier knit and the yarn is a little bit too thin. I do like the look of it, but it's not the knit that I was looking for. So unfortunately I will be returning this one straight back to Airy, but I did love the fit of it. I also want to preface that for anybody out there who's sometimes concerned about knits, this one's a really soft, comfy one. It's not scratchy against the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you can definitely wear this one. If you don't love the feeling of knits still, then I would just recommend pairing it with a t-shirt underneath. Just get some added coverage on your skin and then you can still get the knit look. Look. It's just the way that the knit looks like the pattern on it that doesn't really intrigue me that much So that's probably why the reason I'm gonna be returning it. Otherwise, I did really really like the look It's super cute and also this one was almost 50% off as well same price as the other ones $69.99 and I believe I got it for $38. So that was also really really well marked down <sighs> It's just a cute sweater just wasn't the look that I was going for. So I'm gonna be sending it back to Aerie. So that is it for sweaters. I know that's a lot less than you guys probably expected to see from me, but I did try to refrain from buying all the sweaters that I saw because I love Aerie sweaters. You guys already know that they're so comfortable. I have too many already. So we're trying to limit how many I have in the collection. I did though look into their joggers and I found this super cute pair that I actually had originally built with the white fleece sweater that I just showed you guys. And it is these fleece joggers. I think this is literally just called the fleece jogger. Look how comfy these look. And this totally reminds Reminds me of a pair of joggers that I had when I was in middle school. My mom came home one day with these like Echo Limited bright sky blue, red and white uh, fleece joggers. And they were like the boxiest ones ever. They were so goddamn comfortable and so warm. And I just had like an instant flashback to those when I saw these online. I was like, I need to get them because I loved how warm fleece joggers were that I was like, this girl needs them in her life now. So I picked up this pair. It has an interesting nylon pocket paneling on the front on both sides. The inside also is lined with nylon and can confirm that the inside of the pants are just as soft and fuzzy and warm as the outside. I don't know if you guys can see the texture on here. It goes all the way down. It's like a really soft knit fleecy material. Oh, these were a dream to wear. I do wish that I had the exact same fuzzy soft fleece on the inside too as it is on the outside. It has that texture of, you know those like couch blankets that are like really soft and fleecy. So my only concern is over time, will this kind of like mat down and get gross, especially in the bum area, like right here where you sit all the time, because that's what happens to my blankets. They just get really matted and gross. And there's like fine line of like gray film on the top of them. So my, that's my only concern that I have with these pair of pants. Other than that, I love them. They're so freaking soft and warm. The bottom does also have a cuff to lock in any warm heat that your, guess your body creates while wearing these pants. And there is an adjustable waist at the top. It's also stretchy and elastic as well just to keep you super, super comfy. These pants make me feel like I am wearing a pair of clouds when I put them on my legs and I really love them. So I'm definitely going to be keeping them, but I will probably have to keep an eye out for the bum area. So it doesn't look like I pooed myself when this starts to get kind of like matted over and gross. But I love these. Price-wise, these were also on a really, really great sale. They were $75 and marked down to $41.59. So get almost like 35 some dollars off, which is pretty good. Almost, almost half price again. So Airy, as you guys can see, had like, a really good sale for Black Friday. If you guys can still get these, mark down that low. I would highly recommend it. Staying in the pants category, these specific pants from Airy have blown up all over TikTok. You guys probably already know what they are without me even having to mention them, and they are the crossover leggings. So when I went online on Black Friday to shop them, the crossover leggings were already completely sold out, and the only thing I can get my hands on were the crossover shorts. So I got these in a size extra, extra small because that was the only size left available. Transparently, I bought them just to see how they would fit, if they fit well, 
small, then I would keep them. I'm not an extra, extra small. I am an extra small. So they look freaking tiny. Like, look, they look like children's pants, but they're really, really stretchy though, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, look at this. So these were priced at $45 on Markdown to $25. Unfortunately, they are a little bit too tight for me. So I don't think I'll be keeping them just because I need to be comfortable in my workout gear whenever I'm exercising or else I get really frustrated and I just like take it off and put something else on. There's no point in me owning these shorts if I'm never going to wear them. So, but I can promise you that these crossover pants are insane at sucking and snatching your waist. It makes you look like you have that hourglass figure without needing an hourglass figure. Guys, let me tell you a secret. I do not have an hourglass figure. I literally have no waist. I am straight down like a box. And I don't know, these pants are like magical how Airy created them, but they snatch that shit right in. So yeah, uh, side note, somebody did mention on TikTok that the crossover leggings were in stock again on Aries. So I marched my ass back onto there and purchased myself a pair. All the extra smalls were sold out by the time I got to the site. I was really annoyed. At first I had the regular size one in my cart. And then by the time I checked out, the extra small had been sold out. So I had to go back and get the long version. And in the process of me checking out that also sold out again. So I ordered the short version just to see if it would still fit. I know extra small fits me personally, pants wise from Aries. So we're just gonna have to see if the length works but I will report back to you guys and let you guys know whether or not the crossover leggings are worth it on a separate review video. I feel like those leggings completely warrant a review video of their own. So keep an eye out for that. It will be up on here soon. I think though that Aerie has definitely caught on to how popular those leggings are because they're no longer allowed to be included in any sort of other promotions that they have. So just keeping that out there. So just sharing that out there with you guys in case you're hoping to stack on some promotional discounts. I did manage to snack on a $20 discount to it though, because I had some points saved up on my account. So that is something that you can do. You just can't stack any promotional offers like 50% off all leggings onto the crossover leggings because I think Aerie just knows that they sell up instantly without even having to go on sale. So there's that. So these leggings, the olive green ones will be definitely be returned back to Aerie because they are way too tiny for me, but I can confirm that these crossover waists here are like a godsend. They like they freaking work. So if you can ever get your hands on them, highly, highly recommend it. Get online, snatch them up for yourself. So next up, I ordered a pair of leggings as well. These are the offline hugger high-waisted ribbed legging, and these were $75 on sale to 42 Canadian. So I got them in this like really, really pretty marigold gold color. I don't want to explain it. And they have these like really cool crisscrossy patterns going back and forth down the front and back paneling of the leggings. I was primarily drawn to this color just because it looks so rich and beautiful and gold that I just want to try it on, see if it would fit me. Spoiler alert, it fits me, but the leggings don't look cute on me. It looks too much like skin color and it's like a little bit weird against my skin tone. So another spoiler alert, I will be returning them, but I can confirm that these are extremely comfortable. They're super, super stretchy, but at the same time, they have enough stretch and tightness in them that it keeps everything together. They're super high-waisted, which I love because it kind of like snatches in my waist to create that faux hourglass figure that I do not have. And they are very, very pliable in the crotch area. They do have some ribbing and stitching along the panels here. So that's something I was worried about as to whether or not that would tighten against my skin and create lumps. It doesn't, it's like really smooth going all the way down your legs. So if I could go back and get this in a different color, I might actually, and just return this gold color. It just doesn't match with my skin tone, but these leggings are like, holy hell. They're almost like the Align Lululemon leggings, similar type of material. It's like really, really brushed, soft stretchiness with just a pattern going down the front. If Airy was ever to release these leggings in like a pure black, very similar to the Align ones, I will definitely pick them up and let you guys know what I think about them and maybe even do like a comparison video between the two just to give you my thoughts as to which one is more worth it because I do find that Aerie goes on sale more frequently than Lululemon does and their leggings are like $75, $80 most whereas Lululemon leggings are significantly more expensive so if you can save some coin I'm here for you but yes these ones will be going back because the color just doesn't fit my skin tone. It just it looks weird to me. I used to be so obsessed with these like Henley rib knit tanks. I had so many of them growing up from American Eagle and it's been such a long time since I purchased one. I think literally since high school, I haven't touched these Henley tanks since then just because I don't really do the whole tank top and sweater vibe anymore. That used to be a huge trend back then in middle school and high school, but you guys know I like green and these ones were on sale. So I did pick one up because I kind of wanted to get one just to wear underneath all of my crew neck sweaters because this girl's getting cold in the winter time and I cannot just wear a sweater over top with nothing underneath. I don't like wearing them with like long sleeves or t-shirts because I find that when the material sticks too much, it just kind of like, it twists and turns and I start to feel like I'm in a straight jacket. So I wanted something really simple just to slide under where my sweater's over top. So this one is regularly priced at $30 and it was on sale for $16.62 Canadian. And I got this in the extra small in the shade Olive 
days. So as you guys know, I love green and love the color olive. All the stuff that I've been buying from Airy is the olive days color. I really, really like this. It fits so well. It feels like second skin. I almost can't even feel it when I'm wearing it. The only downside that I have is that because I have like no boobies, we are part of the itty bitty titty committee. The neckline is quite low. So it kind of sits a little precariously above my nipple line. I don't necessarily know if this is going to be a tank top that I would wear all the time in the summertime with the buttons open, lest I want to flash somebody some nips but it is very comfortable enough for me to wear under a sweater. So it's serving its purpose I intentionally bought it for, just wanted to put it out there. It's also a very sheer material too. So if you want any lighter than this, you would definitely see some nips through this. But because since it is like a dark green, it's not bad. Like I don't see anything whatsoever at all. But yeah, highly recommend this one. Great price, very comfortable, and it just fits smoothly on your body without being too like bunchy anywhere. So really like this as a layering piece and could not recommend this more. Make sure you pick this up if you guys are on the Airy website. Do Doing a haul of your own. Very last thing that I purchased is actually an accessory and I haven't purchased something like this in a long time. It's been a really long time since I purchased a headband. I am loving this Sherpa trend. You guys know I got the joggers and the sweaters. I also had to get a matching hairband. It just looks so freaking cute. This one was also on sale. It is regularly priced at $15.95 and it was on sale for $8.85. So the last time I actually got a headband was this one from Hudson's Bay. I purposely put it on so you guys can see what it looks like when I wear headbands regularly. I'm gonna try this on with you guys here. I haven't put this one on yet. Uh, this one, my hair always gets stuck in the pearls that are sewn onto here. So hopefully nothing gets stuck onto here because this is literally just fleece and it should be fairly comfortable. So let's put her on. First impressions with you guys on here. She's quite wide. I don't usually wear wide headbands because mm, it doesn't sit on my head well. Like my ears are so far like back. They just kind of like plop upwards like this. But I kind of like this vibe. This is kind of like... Oh, ignore this tag here. Kind of looking like a Blair Waldorf giving me like winter Sherpa Queen vibes. It's cute. I like it. I might actually keep it because I don't have anything like this. You guys know when it comes to accessories, I don't accessorize a lot hair wise. So all the pieces that I do get usually are a little bit more unique so I can have fun when I'm wearing them. And this is definitely something I don't have. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if I should keep this headband or not. Or if you guys think it's just a fad and I'm going to get over it. I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of it. So I should return it. But yeah. Very cute. Also on sale, less than $10. I figured like, why not? Okay, so that is everything in my Airy haul. Everything that I purchased for under $280. My grand total came out to be $278.45. So just shy of $280. And I got eight pieces out of it. I think that was a fairly decent haul for how much I spent. So I'm pretty happy with myself because I definitely spent like at least double on Zara hauls before with less pieces. So fine. So very, very happy with this Black Friday haul. As you guys probably also saw too, I didn't love everything. So it looks like I'm going to be returning at least half of the stuff that I purchased. And that's totally okay with me, especially now that in lockdown again and we can't go into stores as much anymore. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of my shopping online and just doing critical try on hauls at home with you guys as I have been within this past year. So I hope you you've enjoyed following along with my Aerie journey this past year. I've definitely discovered a newfound love for Aerie. I didn't shop with them as frequently as I used to in the past recent years, but I'm just like loving everything they're putting out right now. And you guys seem to be loving it too, because y'all are hyping up the pieces in my comments. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this very belated Aerie haul. I am so sorry everything took forever to arrive to me and for me to finally be able to film this. I literally rushed to film this as soon as we got back to Toronto to be able to show you guys everything that I got. But let me know in the comments down below which pieces were your favorite, because I would love to know which ones you you guys would keep or which ones you think I should keep from the ones that I think I'm going to be returning. I will be following this up with some of my other favorite Black Friday purchases that I've made as well, along with some other Boxing Day purchases. Yes, if you guys are Canadian, Boxing Day was a thing. I didn't make that many purchases, but I did make a couple, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!